well, this site looks as good as any. I suggest we pitch tent. Oh, we've got the, uh, let's see, what is it, exactly is this called? Um, now this is all in a language I can't read. So what we're going to call it for today is the Belgian two-man tent. Um, in what some find a little bit of an unusual camo. I quite like it personally. And I came underprepared with... Uh, Quiz quips today because it's called Jigsaw. Um, and what have we got with this? We've got, I think it should be 12 pegs. Fairly small, but uh, I really haven't got much to say about those. Uh, some guy lines in there. What I do like is the aluminium poles so um, a lot more sturdiness and reliability than their fiberglass counterparts and there should be three of those uh, here two longer ones that will cross over and then there's a short one that goes across open the vestibules at the side. Right, and I've got the fly and the aforementioned jigsaw camo and the inner. Right, we'll lay out. That's got an opening either side. Okay, so let's get the uh, inner laid out. It's probably be about two meters by uh, maybe a meter and a half across. And the first thing I normally do is peg out the corners. An interesting thing about this tent is these little pockets in each corner. Now, because I can't read the instructions, I'm guessing that's potentially you, you, it's another option for fixing down the corners. You could you could put something in there that's weighted. But on this occasion, because there's a little bit of wind, we are. This isn't probably how they're supposed to be fastened. But I'm just going to put use some of these pegs. This tent is designed designed as such that you could probably fasten it down just with a bit of weight, some rocks. Um, so, you, so if you're on rocky ground or difficult to pitch ground, there's another option for you. Yeah, we've got the nice aluminium poles. Across that way. So we've got the poles, poles laid out across. You've got the two cross corners and the horizontal one. So we're going to start with the uh, fly, putting the fly up first, which is one of the, the beauties of a, a tent designed this way. So if the weather's closing in, you can get the fly up and get all your gear inside and um, attach the body to the inner side of the fly. So we've just got these, these wee toggles here. I'll attach to the poles as such. Ooh, try and make it look a little bit smoother. Come down here, got another toggle. And then 
the end of the poles. There's a wee pocket just on the corner of the fly. A wee pocket there. And the pole will just slide into nice and securely like that. I'll just put one of these on. Once again in the wee pocket there. Now's where you need to start giving it a wee bit of pressure. And this last one, as with all tents, we're gonna have to muscle this in a wee bit. Fortunately, with aluminium poles, it's not the usual chance of them breaking with cheap Chinese ones. So there we go. There's the fly, fly set up. If you'd need to uh, decide to move your location, it's nice and easy to do before anything's fixed to the ground. Uh, next, we'll put in the horizontal bar to hold the vestibules out. So the, the, just like the, the corners, there's these little pockets on the side vestibules here. I'm going to start by trying to get them in there if we can, nice and tight. There we go. And on the other side. Ah, there we go. Right, and let's tie it all together. Got a few more toggles to tie up around the side. Okay, so we've got the fly up. Uh, and because it's a wee bit of a warm day, I'm just gonna, gonna open up a wee bit inside. Uh, so that both, both sides have these, these doors on them, with wee D-rings down there and some loops, which could give you various options for um, staking it out. You could potentially peg it out that way and have a little bit of covering. Just for the moment, we're going to fold these back. We'll get a little bit of airflow through. We've got a toggle here, and we loop inside there to hold these back. And we can get on to the business of buttoning up the internal body. So as you can see in here, the body's just flat on the ground at the moment. That's just loose. We can peg that down if necessary, but got these clips in here that go into the frame that's already up. As I said, if it's uh, if you had any inclement weather to deal with, you'd be all undercover. We'll just hold it down while that wind comes. I just put a couple of pegs in loosely. Okay, so, and the internal body, just pop on with these clips. Let's just move that over a little bit. Okay, and there we have it, if the internal body attached to the, the poles, the frame. Let's have a look inside. Open up both sides, nice easy access. There's inside. As with the outside, these all have 
little tie backs to get the airflow and the light through. Oh, we've got bugs in the tent already, nice. These also have the, the uh, dual layer. You've got the very fine mosquito net. Should be good to keep out those sand flies or other pests that you might be dealing with. There's also the inner cover. Okay, so we've got easy access both sides and fantastically we've got uh, three, point, three point zips, which is always the preferred uh, entry exit. Um, Guys, two way zips we can get right open. You might see a few imperfections in some of the, the netting here, which uh, it's just a byproduct of, of military surplus. That's something uh, just showing this had a bit of use, but it's looking pretty good to me. There's no, there's no actual tears or damage so they shouldn't have any trouble keeping the bugs out let's back up so it's quite roomy i think it is a a two-man tent but uh i'll probably just keep it solo myself with a bit of gear put Plenty of gear in here. Plus, you have the vestibule, the side vestibules, which you could you could fit quite a bit in when they're when they're staked out. So heaps of room, and it's a little bit weighty. It's just under four kgs, three point eight or thereabouts. That's a wee bit to carry, but not too bad. It's manageable. We've also we've got three attachment points, elasticated loops up there for putting a light up or whatever else we want to fix up there with a little bit of a washing line. And we've got, we've got pockets at either end. Mesh pockets. Five good storage pockets there. You'll find those at either end, so we've got no shortage of storage in here. Probably for looping out on those, but I'm going to put it through there. Also, looks like we've got more guying out points there for any uh, strong winds. So this does come with um, a handful of guy lines, which we're going to put on one of our attachment points above the vestibule. There we go. Up. Okay, and there we have it, the Belgian uh, two-man camo tent in the lovely jigsaw pattern. Um, so it was relatively easy to put up uh, for one, one person. I'm not sure if you'd call it lightweight, but under 4 kgs, you could, you could hike with this. You might want to go a bit lighter on other things. It has a nice uh, dark fly, so for those that like to sleep in, that uh, will cut out a bit of light there. Being military surplus, of course, there might be minor imperfections and you, you'd never rely on it to be 100% waterproof. Uh, I'd suggest having a close look at any that you purchase and doing any required maintenance that you see fit. Um, besides that, great buy, good value. It's not something we've seen a lot of. We may or may not get more, but uh, you never can tell, so best to grab one while they're available. 